partners with AMAC, the Association of Mature American Citizens, uh, of Mature American Citizens, for a long time, almost from the very beginning. Um, now they're over two million strong. Every week, uh, you've heard our visits with Dan Weber, AMAC's founder, and then with Andy Mangione from AMAC. I want to read to you what came from AMAC.us this week, and of course the news that we have shared privately uh, prior to this being able to be announced publicly. Um, it is with a heavy heart that the national AMAC leadership team must share that AMAC's thoughtful, kind, visionary founder, a leader in his time, other regarding and invariably inspiring, has left us. Dan Weber, Beloved to all who knew him, was an American patriot, entrepreneur, father, grandfather, and undeterred believer in America's exceptionalism. Dan Weber died on February 3rd, surrounded by loving family. Dan's vigor was limitless, his love of others a hallmark, faith as true and strong as faith comes. Every time Dan would end a segment with me on the radio, I'm sure you noticed he always said, God bless every time because he believed in God's grace and mercy and blessings. Forever grateful, Dan believed in the sanctity of life, the solemnity of the Constitution, the power of the American idea, and promised that one earnest, motivated soul could change the world. He embraced moral obligations, including the need to rise each and every day and do everything he could while he could. And Dan Weber did. He did. AMAC is changing the world in many, many ways. As a boy, the third child of six, he was up before the sun. He delivered newspapers. He learned early on hard work pays off. He learned that rewards are earned, not given, and that America's promise is real. He was blessed with great teachers, uh, learning values. At age 16, he didn't have a dime to his name. He embraced the American dream. He started a business with three buddies, three friends. Their landscaping venture grew, allowing him to bank his returns, buy a car, and he started dreaming bigger. Um, two days after graduating high school, Dan enlisted in the United States Air Force. He served four years before his honorable discharge. He didn't make a big deal about it. Before long, he married Judy. He was ensconced in raising a family of five while owning and operating a fast-growing family insurance business. In 2007, when he retired from the insurance business that he owned and operated, he made a new promise to the United States and to America's future. Uh, America allowed him to fulfill his wildest dreams, and so now he gave himself to assuring the dreams of others and founded AMAC, the Association of Mature American Citizens, Daring comes in many forms, stepping into the world of helping America's seniors by creating a conservative association for Americans over 50 was very daring, very bold, unconventional. When AMAC came to life, conservative principles were in retreat. Freedoms of speech, religion, and assembly, right to keep and bear arms, limited government, lower taxes, solvent federal coffers, sustainable social security, disability, health care, on and on, all under intense pressure. Dan was undeterred. Dan Weber leaned into those fights. He never faltered, never flagged. Today, a dozen years later, AMAC is the fastest growing conservative group in America. Two million members strong, battling for America's freedoms, traditions, and ideals. All of it comes back to Dan. To Dan's vision, faith in America, gratitude for manifold blessings, resolve to do what he could do while he could for all he could. Dan embodied the American dream. He was humble. He was optimistic. He was a joy to be around. I loved being in Dan's presence with that ready smile, his gratefulness, his faith in America, his loving God. His example is of the can-do spirit, and it is embodied in the creation of the AMAC Foundation, which is a vibrant organization that is dedicated to the well-being of America's seniors. By such men are we taught and treated to what may be possible, inspired to do our part during our time, reminded that the future is what we make it, bright if we follow their example. AMAC concludes by stating the, the obvious, we will miss 
Dan beyond words, but we are so grateful for the example he set, for putting us on the right course in times of trial. The promise of AMAC is to carry the good fight forward. Of course, that is in our DNA. We try to fight the good fight every single day. And being a partner of AMAC just inspires me to come to work. And their promise from Dave Weber, his, his brilliant son, and the incredible team at AMAC, AMAC's army will become even stronger and bigger and more resolved to see the mission through. I ask you to honor Dan Weber in one of two ways or both. Join AMAC today. Become a member of this incredible, inspiring organization, over 2 million strong, um, gallagherforamac.com, gallagherforamac.com, real simple to join. Or feel free to make a memorial contribution in Dan Weber's honor. The, the, the website is amacfoundation.org. The AMAC Foundation, of course, is a 501c3 that is dedicated to enriching the lives of America's seniors. All your dona any donation is tax deductible. AMACFoundation.org. AMACFoundation.org. I will always be grateful to Dan Weber for his faith in our show, being a part of Team Gallagher. And I know that Dave and the AMAC team will, com will continue to carry Dan's legacy forward.